What in the world is that? That ain't Apple Goop. He called it Apple Cum. It's neither of those. No, you made it wrong. Why is everyone making Apple Goop wrong? I need a video from somebody who made Apple Goop correctly. Somebody make the video correctly and post it. <laughs> Coach Rick and I'm here to make and taste test Greg Doucette's Apple poop. The infamous apple poop, that is. Why do I say that? Well, there's been a lot of people saying it is mediocre. When I made the apple goop, I had to scroll back and make sure that it wasn't called apple poop. I mean, it tasted okay. I had to add a boatload of salt. What is wrong with you? Salt in apple goop? Or, you know, just being nice and not talking too much bad about it. Apple goop. Mm, I don't know. I personally don't like uh, something... Uh... Love, love that. <laughs> Something's up with the apple goop. But Greg knows that, you know, people aren't saying the best things. So I'm going to let him judge me today. If he ever does watch this video, I don't know. But we're going to see if it actually is good or not. And if it's worthy of the anabolic cookbook. So if you don't know Greg Doucette, he just came out with his best selling book, The Anabolic Cookbook. And it's been quite the rage. Well, at least for me, because I watch the channel every day and he's been doing different reviews on it and talking about it nonstop and respectively so. I respect the grind. But I'm always looking for different recipes and healthy recipes and filling recipes to use and fill me up because I want to try and stay as lean as possible, feel as good as possible and feel as full as possible so I can either lose weight, maintain my weight, and not gain too much weight if I am lean bulking. This poop is made in the microwave. Yes, in the microwave. I have never made, it's like apple pie filling essentially, but I've never made this in the microwave. It's always, always, always on the stove top, but we're going to try it exactly to a T. I have my food scale. I have everything ready to go and we're going to do everything exactly to the recipe and there's no way I can mess it up. There's no way. I don't even know what it looks like to be honest with you. I haven't done my research, but if it doesn't turn out and he sees this, then he can let me know that you didn't do it right either, Nick. It is what it is. Now, why am I qualified to make this? Well, I have my bachelor's in exercise science and my master's in exercise physiology. I've been training on and off for 10 years, all natural, the whole time. I was 260 pounds at one time. I have eaten a lot of garbage and I still do my cheat meals. I know that Greg is not too much of a fan of cheat meals, but it kind of makes it work for me. And I always say it's not for everybody, but that's just kind of how I do things and how I tell people to do things. If they want to do keto, do keto. If you can stick to it, if you want to do low carb, then do low carb. That doesn't bother me either. So I always say do what you want, but I love food. I love good tasting food. And like he says, diet food isn't 100% of of greasy fries or desserts with packed with sugar like the Ben and Jerry's. But if you can get to 80 to 90% of that with low calories that I don't even have to think about eating more, it's worth it. So we're going to try this apple poop and really see what's up with it. Now we're going to do something kind of special because I've been doing recipes on TikTok. I'm going to compare my apple filling that I made the other day for my caramel apple ice cream, which is loaded with sugar and carbs and goodness. And I'm going to directly compare it to the apple poop and we're going to see how close it is. I don't expect it to be exactly the same, but as I said, if it's a 7 on 10 or an 8 on 10, then I will completely accept it into my food family and I will be making it in the future. Then after that, I'm going to add it to some anabolic ice cream, see how it is because that is going to be my dinner for the night. So let's go make it. The most annoying part about this whole process is just peeling and cutting the apples. Nothing else is hard. And if you want, you can leave the skins on. It's up to you. You can make it super easy. The world is your oyster. As you can see, just cutting the apples up, trying to make quote unquote medium chunks. Some were bigger, some were smaller. I even waited out twice to make sure I had the exact amount of water that I was supposed to have and that my scale wasn't messed up. Then we add our guar gum, mix it around, and my wrist definitely got to work out here. Now we add our dry apple mix into our wet mix. As you can see, it's turning into apple pie filling very quickly. God, I was getting so annoyed that this was sticking in here. And again, of course. Now I put it in the microwave and this is what we're looking like. I would mix it up, put it back in the microwave, and then again, 
I had to put it in the microwave probably about 12 minutes and the apples weren't fully soft, but I wanted a crunch to them. And as you know, there are no rules. But I'll tell you what, it looks damn delicious. I'm not gonna lie, it looks exactly like apple pie filling and I couldn't wait to eat it. So here we are, we're ready. And we're gonna do a taste test strictly on Greg's apple poop. And then we're going to try mine versus the apple poop. <laughs> it's not that it's bad. It's funny because the regular apple pie looks faker than this one. This one has like perfect consistency with the guar gum, but the iron musket was right. He also did a review. He said it was missing something and he went and asked his, I think it was his mom, and she added salt. This isn't good though, like it's just not. I don't think it's that much sweetener. I put almost just as much sweetener in one thing of French toast, one serving of the anabolic French toast as I do in here. So I don't think it's enough. I do wanna add some salt. I have a little bit to the side here, but for me like a seven is good. It's like above average. Anything above a seven, you're just getting better and better. This is like a five. This isn't very good, but it could be good because it's not that the texture or anything else is turning me off. There's just no flavor it's bland it's just like i'm eating food just to eat food kind of like people eat the chicken breast and broccoli just to eat it because they think it's good for them i feel like i'm just eating just to eat now my apple pie filling is about two days old it's been in the fridge i just reheated it so much better it's like night and day now obviously this is like double the calories if not triple the calories per serving it's so much better it's not even close but we're gonna do some work that's like a an eight out of 10. That's homemade. I did everything the same as I would do for Greg's, but I added regular sugar and brown sugar and stuff like that. Give me just about a minute here. I'm going to try and add some different things to the apple poop to make it not so much poop and more back into goop. I'll be back. No, it's still not great by any means, but we're at like a six, six and a half now. And I think this would be good in the protein ice cream. So we're gonna do that. All right, we're back. So. Vanilla, beautiful. This is a confirmed banger. This is a great, 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 great recipe. Now, to the apple goop or poop, I have added double the Splenda, four grams of brown sugar, which is, you know, 16 calories, so no big deal. A little bit of Walden Farms caramel and a teaspoon of vanilla. It tastes so much better, so much better, so much more flavor and a little bit of salt. It's nice because it's warm with the ice cream that's cold. It mixes very well. All right, I'm gonna finish this while we're done. Now, both for Greg's standards and tasting standards, this recipe was subpar. I mean, without anything added, it was like a four to a five. It's edible, you could have ate it, but I wouldn't be enjoying what I'm eating. I wouldn't look forward to eating it. Is it better than kale? Yeah, but it's not very good on its own. Now, before everyone comes and attacks me that loves Greg, I like Greg too, a lot. I watch his videos day in and day out. I got the cookbook, I'm supporting him. His training is very expensive. I just told you his protein ice cream is a banger. His French toast is easily his best recipe because there's so many variations you could do with it. And what else have I made? Oh, I made the protein pudding as well. Protein pudding, just as good. So super filling, like every time I have one of these, it's like 500 calories, I am stuffed. It's good and I'm like, uh, I guess I'll eat more, uh -huh. I am stuffed to the max, but it's super good every single time. Am I hating? No, I'm not. I'm giving my honest opinion about one of the recipes in the book. I've only had, like I said, three or four recipes so far. I have to start meal prepping more. It's summer, it's just hard to get into it. But what I recommend overall, the anabolic cookbook, absolutely. I agree with everyone else that says, what is $100? Jordans are $200. Air Maxes, obviously, if you get the nice Air Maxes, at least 100. People pay dating app subscriptions for one year, they pay 100 or to like get closer to the front of the line so more girls see them or squares or circles or whatever pay that much money just for a year subscription when this is for life. 
This is something you're going to change for the rest of your life if you're going to succeed. So I very much think that the anabolic cookbook is great. It's like people that are critiquing it say, oh, it's not fancy enough. People complain all the time about meal prepping is so hard. I don't have time, blah, blah, blah. So Greg makes it easy, puts it in simple terms, and then people complain that it's not fancy enough and it should be more complicated. It's like you can't really win either way. Coming from someone that's been a personal trainer, that has coached people, that has dealt with people with heart conditions it is crucial to me to find something for somebody that they can sustain I don't care what type of diet that is and what type of exercise it is as long as you keep it going multiple days a week hopefully five for at least 30 minutes but point being is that the anabolic cookbook allows you to make something that tastes good that is filling that will keep you satisfied until the next meal or even throughout the rest of the day when I have one of these I'm good for hours like straight up hours and I'm making like a large version next time I'm making the score bars and I can't wait to try the score bars but yeah that's it for me so flipping two videos up here subscribe hit that bell button like the video watch these videos or go watch Greg's videos and I will see you next time I'm out